So this is more or less the coolest toy I think I've ever messed around with. And I think it's even more enjoyable due to the fact that I've sort of built it, you know. What a lot of fun. Hello there everybody, Sam Strings here. Welcome back to the railway and welcome to another video. Now, loads and loads of people have sent comments and messages to me saying, you should build a kit on video or something like that. Now, today's video I'm pretty sure is not what they had in mind, but technically speaking, it is a kit. So I was perusing online and I was looking at some different electronic kits and I came across this. Now, it just looks like a bag of parts. And yes, obviously as a kit, you do have to put these together. But the finished image, which was on the listing, looked really, really cool. So it's a little car basically that follows a line. And I thought this is just too cool not to not to try and uh, you know buy and put together. So at this stage, you've already seen the intro if it works, but at this point I haven't built the thing yet. Um, goodness knows how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to just follow a line. I think you can just put a line of tape down onto a service, uh, surface rather, and it will follow it supposedly. Uh, now, obviously these kits, you have to be able to solder to put them together, um, but they are quite good for deck dexterity and that sort of thing and uh, obviously it's good soldering practice as well and I've done lots of kits like this never this one before but I've done lots like them and they are reasonably easy to put together so this was so cheap by the way this cost me less than five pounds and I'll put a link in the description and that's not bad all the circuitry is there you've got two motors two gearboxes the wheels the battery compartment the circuit board absolutely everything for less than five quid so will it work I don't know the cleverest among you, or some, some people in the comments, I'm sure, are going to say this, so I'm going to say it and clear it up. True, it's not a train, but in a very loose sense, it is supposed to follow a sort of track, and it's got wheels and motors and things, which is a little bit like trains. So yeah, I know it's not what I normally do, but uh, as I say, I saw this online and I thought this is so far too cool not to try. So I'm going to get this bag open, we're going to take a look at what's inside, and I'm going to try and put it together. It's going to be a short video if I mess it up, but hopefully I won't. Okay, let's try it. All right, so here we go then. We're going to have a try at putting this together. First things first though, obviously we're going to have to open up the bag and see what we get inside. So let's see. It's all nice and compact inside here. So, most interesting part first is I think the motor slash gearbox assembly. So there we go, you see the motor in there and we've got the output there that I think the wheels will screw onto. Yeah. And there's just sticky pads, it looks like, on the gearboxes. So that's nice and simple. We've got the wheels here, which have got the uh, rubber tyres already put onto them, which is quite nice. So that looks all ready to go. Uh, we have the battery compartment here, which uh, quite obviously a couple of AA batteries will fit into. Uh, inside here, ah yes, we've got the uh, circuit board here, which is actually extremely well labelled and in fact I don't think you even need instructions if you were confident um, but we'll see what the instructions have anyway although I, d I doubt I'll bother with them but we'll see see what's on it I can get this open right yep yeah, it's just a circuit diagram all the uh, writing is in Chinese so it's perhaps a good thing that the circuit board's so well <laughs> labelled because that's basically not going to be any good really uh, in fact, the diagram's not properly labelled either. There's no <laughs> values or numbers on them. So, yeah, that's basically useless, but I guess you can uh, look at it and figure out how it goes. So there we go. That's quite cool. And then we've got the component back here, which I'm going to have to be careful not to lose everything from. So we've got some wires here. I assume, yes, there's no, uh, there are no wires coming from the motors themselves, so that must be what those are for. There are wires coming from the battery pack, though, which is interesting. But fair enough. So there we go. Uh, where I'm going to put these then? Uh, well, I'll just put them to one side. Hopefully we'll be okay there. And uh, yeah, a load of components. <laughs> so yes, the only challenge with this will be the resistors. So if you don't know how to figure out the, uh, the different resistor values, there are graphs and charts online that you can look up. And they allow you to uh, discover which resistors are which. But for now then, I think I'm going to do a bit of a time lapse. Uh, if you are a member of Sam's Trains, I will show you the whole process on the membership. Uh, but uh, for now, I think I can feel a time lapse coming on and we're going to try and put this together and see if it works. <laughs>
Yeah, well, Bo, it's working. Will it follow a line? I don't know. But uh, if I cover up that, that's uh, photo resistor, that wheel spins. I cover up that photo resistor, that wheel spins. Good, very good. Well, now the only thing is to try it out. Let's draw some lines and see. Right, so that seemed to go together really, really easily. It took me about perhaps, I would guess half an hour, maybe slightly more. Although, allow plenty of time if, you, uh, if you're sort of doing this as your first kit. But uh, yeah, otherwise it was fairly easy to put together. Now the instructions weren't a lot of help, in fact they were in Chinese, uh, but it's so simple to put together you didn't really need instructions. Now, when I switch it on, it does something. And if I cover up the sensors, the different wheels start spinning and stop spinning. However, we need a proper track, we need a proper line for it to follow. So, as you can see, I've stuck some paper down on the table and I've got my Sharpie. I don't really know whether this is going to be sufficient. If not, I'm going to have to get some black tape and stick it over the track I'm going to draw with my Sharpie. But uh, this is going to be an experiment to see how sensitive these are. And uh, so parts of this track I'm going to draw are going to be really simple. And then I think other parts are going to get a bit more complex and we'll see if we can uh, throw this off or, uh, you know, see how, see how well it follows the lines. So let's do another time lapse. And uh, I apologise if I'm going to get in the way of the camera at all during this, but I will try not to. So here we go. go. I think my sharpie's about dead now and my hand's tired, <laughs> but uh, we now have a rudimentary black line. And uh, yeah, <sighs> that was fun. Yes, is a lie. Anyway, so <laughs> let's try this little car then. Will this car be able to follow the line I have created? I don't know. It's a bit of a messy line, but I guess that's a good test for it. So let's try it. Oops, maybe I put it down in the wrong place. Oh, it's doing something. Oh, okay, let's see how it gets on with the zigzags. Oh yeah, ah no, it didn't like, oh gosh. <laughs> right, so it looks as though these zigzags are a little bit too uh, zigzagged. So I'm gonna just amend that slightly. Well, I must say it seems to work pretty good. Yeah, well, it's gotten around. Whoa, that was close to the edge. Okay, well that's a complete circuit. Now, there's a secret, folks, because I wasn't satisfied to just build one of those little cars. Uh, so, ah gosh. I turned my back for one moment. Let's see what it does. Surely it will find its way again. Yes, <laughs> that's quite good. As long as it doesn't come out on the outside. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? So, I wasn't satisfied to just build one. So, I built a second one. But with this one, I've uh, changed the design a little bit and I've soldered the LEDs flush to the circuit board and not sticking out like on the other one. Uh, doesn't say to do that. Uh, it's that curve again. Um, but we'll see if this one works any better. Now, uh, this one, I put some uh, different coloured LEDs on. I don't know if you noticed that those on the bottom were not red. Uh, these have got the original red ones. So let's see how this one works. Oops. Not very well. <laughs> let's try again. I wonder if it's, you know what? I wonder if I've got too many lights on in here. Right, let's try it. Let's dim the place down a little. Because it is all dependent on reflected light, is it not? So now I've got the big lights off, let's try that again. And it works. Ah, well that's interesting. So basically it must work with reflected light. So obviously the black line doesn't reflect light as much as the white paper does and so the uh, little photoresistors on there will uh, have a different value every time, it, uh, every time they 
the LED goes over a piece of paper. Right, well, let's see if that's improved things now. I appreciate it's probably a little darker. So, yes, light seems to interfere with it. That's interesting, isn't it? Oh, we've got a race. Well, the, uh, the one with the blue LEDs, or cool white ones, seems to be working all right. It hasn't come off on the curve now. <laughs> this is so cool. I have to say, this is probably the coolest toy I've ever built. Um, seem to be having a bit of a, a diversion here. It's probably going to end in a crash. But okay. I'm interested to see how this is going to unfold. It's confused. It's lost. Come on. Find the black line. No, uh, it's lost. <laughs> Come on. There it is. Go on. Man, it is lost. It's sort of trapped. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's put it back on. So this is more or less the coolest toy I think I've ever messed around with. And I think it's even more enjoyable due to the fact that I've sort of built it, you know. What a lot of fun. Right, I didn't actually notice where it came off last time, so let's have a look, shall we? Is it somewhere here? So, let's put the lights back on and see if it really is the light that interferes with it. I mean, it will be. But it begs the question, doesn't it? What could you do with this? Could you apply this to model railways? I thought about maybe a road system. Clearly you wouldn't want visible light, but would it be possible to do this with UV or infrared? You can get UV LEDs or infrared LEDs. And I think you can get infrared photoresistors. So could it be miniaturized and used as like a road system? Because it's actually not bad, is it? I mean, and they do seem to follow with quite some accuracy. Right, let's put these lights back on and see if we can't confuse them. Excuse me. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yes, the lights do confuse them. Wow, that's cool. But it has to be very, very bright, I should say. Oh, no, that one's fixed now. Yeah, I mean, this is more than bright enough. You don't have to play with them in the dark. Oh, uh-oh. What's going to happen? This is like the worst chase I think I've ever seen. <laughs> this is great. It reminds me of a amusement park dark ride system. It'd be great to build one of those with this. All right, yes, you clearly want to overtake. So yeah, I mean, it's just so much fun. You could literally spend hours messing around with these. Very, very cool. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. I'm going to build some more. <laughs> you won't believe it, but I've got a third one. But I need to think of a, a modification to make to the third kit. See if we can't uh, change it and improve it in some other way. So I've already proved different LEDs work. It doesn't really matter whether you mount the LEDs flush or not. And the photoresistors to the circuit board. They both seem to work just as well. And I haven't adjusted the uh, variable resistors either. They're just stuck as they were to start with. So it's a lot of fun. It's very, very cool. And I hope you enjoyed that. So... Link in the description if you want to pick one up for less than a fiver. They are awesome toys and uh, they can follow quite a complex track. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you very soon. Cheers, everybody.